Oh, God. All right, that's it. Time to pull an alternator. It is 12.30 in the morning. And I think it's about time I do a story quest. Astrologos. Who's Mona? You and Pama went outside Leeway and Tang to set off an adventure. All right, that's it. I'm doing a freaking Mona story quest because why not? Now, who made this be? <sighs> Finally. <laughs> what? Finally what? Also, who are you? I almost fell asleep waiting. Uh, huh? so you can teleport. <laughs> As usual, my predictions are correct. What you, predictions? Yes, you. Come with me. Where are we going? I swear, every time you say something, I are have more some questions sort of than answers. Door -door fortune uh -huh. Sorry, but we're not really interested. Yeah, well, what does a fortune teller say to a person who says that they're not interested? In? You're. Not from this world, are you? <gasps> so what? How do you know about that? Uh, I don't know. I feel like how? Like even because if she I'm a did master know, of true astrology. I don't know what does astrology have to do with this. I don't know. Like she could have come up with that line just right off the bat. If you've no other questions, let's be off. I I'm just full <laughs> of questions. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. I'll exercise a little patience and explain. Really? You didn't have patience before? I am astrologist Mona Magistus, but considering that it is most rude to misremember names, I allow others to call me Mona. Uh, call me Mona. I am on a mission from my master to retrieve a certain box from Mondstadt. Uh -huh. It was part of an agreement she made with a friend 50 years ago, <clears throat> but she isn't as spry as she used to be, so now it's up to me. A 50-year agreement, and now we're just, just getting to it. I'm not sure what getting some box back has to do with us. Why do you need us to come along? Sure, yeah, sure. Well, yeah. <laughs> that's because I would also like to take on the guardian of the box. My god, every, every time I hear something from you, it's always a question. Screw it, no more questions. My master and her friend contended in the mystic arts all their lives without a clear victor. Uh, if I triumph here... <clears throat> well, I want to prove the power and status of astrology, to be precise. I, I know I said more, no more questions. Who's asking you to want to prove power? Who Who's trying to challenge you to power? Now, from my predictions, I know that my master's friend has left Mondstadt leaving her successor as the current guardian of that box. Who's your master? Who's your master's friend? And why should we care? Like me, that successor must also be one who has surpassed their teacher. I must not be careless, but I would prefer to assure my victory in this contest. And upon giving it some thought, you came to mind. Uh, why did I come to mind? The knowledge passed down to me from my master must be passed on in turn. If I were to bring my disciple to meet her, then the lead is already mine, no? What? And you are Mondstadt's great hero, my equal in status, Since so... when was I your... Come on, you don't actually have to become my disciple. You just need to act the part. Oh, okay, so like, just shut up and act like it. There's something in it for you as well, should you come with me to... Once I meet that successor and have a chance to exchange knowledge with them, I should be able to read your fate more accurately. Right. Then I will have answers for you, even regarding such distant and foggy matters as gods and kin. What if I don't care about gods and kin? That does seem much faster than searching the <laughs> land country <laughs> so by country. Has a fortune teller ever thought of that, or is it just anything you put forward I'm not interested in? <laughs> a wise decision. I didn't even see what I just chose. I literally looked down, pressed the X button, and that was it. That said, I would like to pay a certain place a visit before we go. You're just full of questions. You have more questions than answers. Why a fortune teller? Why a 50 year thing? There is Why a small inn near Mount Tianhong that never. Where? The owner has always been good to me, so I'd like to say a farewell before I set off. Well? 
No yeah. wonder that an inn set up here has no business. Mona, you've come at just the right time. Did you see a jade ring while you made your way here? Uh, a jade ring? Can't say I have. Oh, that's not good. The ring was given to me by my mother. But while my back was turned, it was swallowed up by a slime. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think I already have my cue for what this quest is going to be. Fetch quest! Hmm, that should be no trouble with Mona here. She's really good at astrology. What does this have to do with astrology? Absolutely not. Astrology is meant to be used to gain insight into reality and observe destiny itself. It's certainly not for such mundane affairs. What if it was? Have you ever thought of that? But didn't you say that the owner here has been good to you? Uh, what does that have to do with finding a jade ring and what does astrology have to do with finding stuff in another fetch quest? This is a matter of pride and one state of mind. If an astrologist thinks that their arts can solve all problems, they will be forsaken by the starry ether. Why? Their divinations will lose the power to guide and will not be able to pierce the fog of the unknown before them. Principles are principles. So in other words, uh, so it's like, I can't get involved in earthly matters. I must keep my business to the stars. Says the person who is an astrologer, blah, 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 the end. Such a powerful ability, and you don't use it to earn a living? What a shame. Is it really powerful when it has no use at all? Or is it just something powerful being portrayed as completely useless. Uh, well, I was going to put up 20,000 more as compensation, if you were willing. Well, if astrology doesn't talk, then money talks! Uh, 20,000? Was there that look in your face? Oh, uh, it's nothing. I, I was just thinking that the person who finds that ring must be lucky indeed to be able to earn 20,000 mora just like that. Says the person who's like, earthly matters don't count. Also, the one time astrology is potentially real. I don't know what your idea there is, Patrick, but I'll, I'll just go with it. Uh, whatever happened to principles are principles. <laughs> yes, of course. Still, the owner's business has had it pretty hard. It must be a truly extraordinary ring to be worth spending this much more to find. Well, the owner, um, is willing to pay, so who am I possibly to deny? It wouldn't be right for us to leave like this, so let's help to search for it. There may be other means we can employ besides astrology. Like actually using your eyes and looking for it and killing all the slimes for a jade ring. Oh, Paimon knows where this is going. Uh, I know. I'll leave this one to you. This is the first mission I'm giving you as your master. But of course. Hmm. Since it was swallowed up by a slime, maybe we can use elemental bait to lure all the nearby slimes to us. Uh, fetch quest! You remember the stuff we helped map and... <laughs> Paimon no. and Paimon's the very best partner. No. Seems like you already have a plan. Just go look for it using the elemental trees. Yep, we'll be back in We'll be back in a jiffy. <laughs> Says Abraham. Abe Simpson. The from, elemental uh, bait's really Simpsons. strong. It will attract all the slimes in the area. Uh, uh, Even if they're just slimes, they can be dangerous together, so we'd best prepare ourselves. Here we go. Okay, elemental bait and kill everything I see. Oh, I know! Ash wanted me to do Gone. the ascension, so now. Die. Peace. Thank you. And there's more. Sacred name. Fortune preserver. I get carried away, like, 
Here's the thing with people with uh, ADHD. It's hard to stop something. It's not even a question of ghosting or procrastinating. It's hard for me to stop when once you hyper focus. Like sometimes there's an opposite thing where some people who are ADHD are to be blown away. Focus. But for me, sometimes it's also the opposite problem when it comes to hyper focusing. So, yeah. I was gonna do it, it's just I need to stop playing Steve's Stop talking to these other people on Nothing Discord lasts forever. who are also from CFPs and just stop. That's kind of what I need to right do. Right here, right now, emerge. But yeah, that's my biggest problem. And like, once I get right started on something, emerge. Right here. Okay. It's the fire. Yeah. Thrown up in the air and get shot by every single element known to mankind. Nephrite ring. There it is. Found it. This must be the ring. This must be the ring cliche. It's so pretty. I'm unsure it's worth a ton of. What if it's not? Uh. Right. I didn't ask, but the fact that you said I didn't me mean to say that makes me question even more. Like, I just gotta That's it! Off. That's the one! You actually found it. Not bad. No thanks to you. Mr. Zhu, you must take care of such precious things a bit better. You might not be so fortunate next time. What? Okay. Again, what does astrology have to do in this game? You're absolutely right. How would I have faced my family if I had lost the 253rd ring my mother gave me? 250... Did we just get a... Do you have so many other rings aside from that? No, oh, let me explain. My family owns three jade mines, and in order to ensure that I would be able to find myself a good one, I think there might be over 500 of them. You had 500 of them and you... You care to lose one? Then why would you feel the need to set up an inn he- Well, inheriting the family business too early unavoidably made things boring. Thank you, all the same. Here's the Mora, as agreed. Oh, uh, take it. inheriting the family business is like... B inheriting the farm. It's just a death sentence at that point. Then? Then I'll take it, gladly. Really? Even Pino wasn't that fast. But we did all the work! A disciple should act like one. How can they steal ah. their master's thunder? Ah, uh, first of all, we did 80%, we did 90-ish percent of the work. Exactly! Well, you need to start practicing now. If my rival is as smart as I think they are, they will figure you out in a heartbeat. Yeah, well, they have yet to show themselves. <laughs> Says the person who's... Hungry? Who's hungry? Uh, what was that rumbling? Oh, right. You mustn't have eaten in days. I'm very sorry. I forgot that you have no... Uh, <laughs> well, I suddenly feel that you have indeed contributed to our good fortune. I say we spend this money on treating you to a fine meal. Oh, now you decide to contribute to the cause. If we travel north, we'll reach the Wongshu Inn. No need to thank me. I'm just doing as a good master should. No, a master shows the way. We pave the way. Did she say she was treating us? Is Paimon hearing things? Uh, let's go after Let's her. go after her for... Down. Sorry to drop in and break my legs in the whole process. Please sit down. Sit next to... Sit. Please. That, oh my god, I saw the setting option, but I didn't... Oh, there we go. Since it's Mona's treat, we can order whatever we want, right? Of course. I am a most generous master, after all. But only if you can finish it all. Wasting food simply will not do. Says the person who's really hungry. Excuse me, what would you like to order? The whole entire menu. <laughs> These are made using large succulent shrimp wrapped in crispy fried potato. Okay. As 
for the vegetarian. It's exactly what it says on the label. Abalone made from vegetarian ingredients. Good as the real thing. Though tofu could not be a more ordinary Mona is ingredient, made of Jesus. it and crab she roe are off. truly a... Uh, and the bamboo shoots... This is a favorite among our regulars. Bamboo shoots pour a few spoonfuls into each bowl of rice you eat. Mm. I'll order uh, them all. <laughs> all of them? We only have three. No, two and a half people? Isn't that too much food? Wow, the Paimon is a halfling. That's not how you count it. Besides, Paimon hasn't even ordered yet. Ahem. <clears throat> Squirrelfish, Juyu chili chicken, and Juri soup, please. Squirrelfish. Sure. And is there anything else you'd like to order, ma'am? I, I'd just like to ask, how much do the current dishes cost in total? What do you expect? Um, around 20,000 mora. Then, uh, I'll, I'll just have some vegetarian noodles, please. All right. A bowl of vegetarian noodles, was it? You'll probably gorge yourself on a piece of it for King all my dying. Paimon's been thinking about something since we started eating. Why does she order only only order one day? Is it? Because she actually doesn't have money? <coughs> I heard that. <laughs> I said I was treating. How could I be rattled by something as mundane as Mora? Wow, the response to that is almost fitting. An astrologist's mind is set on studying the stars. Being so easily disturbed by such banal matters would hamper my judgment. Says the person who already hampered their own judgment before. Especially the act of overly gratifying oneself using Mora. It is both vulgar... Uh -huh. It is vulgar, and yet you can't argue right behind it. And dangerous. So, not eating the dishes we ordered is also part of an astrologist's pride? But it feels kind of bad that only we got to feast. Oh, yes, we can do... Right that order. You yeah. don't use more to fulfill your desires. So it's fine as long as you're not buying anything, right? I have to cook food Let's because you're too damn lazy. The God, right here. Hello, how may I help you? I need to borrow your kitchen. We'd like to borrow the kitchen here. Ah, I see. In that case, sure. As long as you've prepared your own ingredient, if I may, you must be well versed in the art of cooking, of yes? <laughs> Talented indeed. From your clothes, you're most likely not from around these parts. But since you've come to Liyue, would you like to try making Liyue style cuisine? Really? Like, he's the second person who's like, you're not from around these parts, are you? But you, at least you're not an astrologer, you're more of a chef. I have a recipe for golden crab with me. It's a UA cuisine. It's crab meat that's been rolled in flour, deep fried, and then pan fried together with ginger and garlic. When you finally plate it up, the crab seems to be lying. Golden crab. Uh, golden it. crab. Golden crab. Fine. <laughs> but with your skills in the kitchen. I have the crab. And now start cooking in the kitchen. Like a good little chef that I am. All right. Yes. I'm gonna cook. Jesse. We need to cook. There's no need to spend all that effort on me. I'm not in dire need of food. I cook. I am a little hungry. <laughs> but it's not a big deal. I'm not in dire need of food, but I am hungry. It's like, I'm not in trouble. Maybe a little. Uh, crab roll. Uh, do it. Uh, select. Mint. Get it. There you go. Take it. Just take this it. This aroma is... Something to go with your noodles. I never thought it'd be so luxurious. You don't need to be luxurious. Fine. Since my disciple has put in so much time and effort, I must... With great difficulty, except... Just do it. Mm, this golden crab is too delicious. I have never eaten anything this good in my life. You never afforded anything good in your life. Almost like Zhang Li, except you don't... Re you take other people's money in when you don't do the work. Uh, I mean, <clears throat> I never knew that my disciple was this skilled. I see yeah. that it's no boast to call them Li as delicacies. 
I suppose it wasn't too much to spend all this more on. Ah, it's nothing. Nothing at all. Now that we've eaten and drank our fill, we should be off. Are you drinking? If we travel north from here, we should reach the Stone Gate, and from there we will be within the boundaries of Mondstadt. So you gotta head back what to Mondstadt. What deep mystery shall we acquire knowledge of? <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. What if we don't acquire any mysteries or knowledge of? Sex mysteries. Uh, continue your journey, head for the Stone Gate. <sighs> That was tiring, okay, but we're finally in Mondstadt. Uh, are we? The quest to plumb the wondrous depths of knowledge is indeed arduous. You talk too much. Hi, Mon's not tired. You fly everywhere. Ugh, that's because you float. Yeah. Well, it doesn't look like an astrologist is all that amazing either. Yeah, maybe it's about time to put your your magic where your mouth is. That's because you have too many unrealistic fantasies about astrology. Uh, says the person who hasn't demonstrated anything about astrology and only wants to, and wants nothing to do with earthly, eh, earthly matters, and only wants to do with, uh, heavenly matters. Or star. Are you also resting your feet here? Who? Who are you? Oh, my brothers and I are all merchants. We just finished doing business in Liyue, and we're preparing to head back to Mondstadt. You look rather tired. The cart we hired will be coming in a while. Need to be. No need, no need. <sighs> We're already heading- There's no need. Now shoo, get out of our way. Really? Huh? Miss, is there something wrong? Cease your pretensions, bandit. They're bandits. Picking up people on the road who appear vulnerable, robbing them blind once they've gotten on the cart, and then taking them to some Archon forsaken place. Is that your deal? What are you saying? We came over here to make conversation, and this is how we're rewarded? With insults? Now that I am starting to suspect what uh, Mona is saying, they didn't ask for a conversation. If you don't want to get on, don't. <laughs> Crazy girl. Well then, shall I tell you now which objects you have on you that are stolen? How would you know? If you have any quibbles, we can bring people to corroborate what I've said and all will come to light. Prove it. If I lose, I'll pay you 20,000 mora. But if I win, then you'll be eating prison rations in Liyue Harbor tonight. How about it? If you're real legitimate- You- You pushed it too far, brat! Mm. I don't know how you found out, but as long as we get rid of you, no one will have to know. Ooh, so they were. Don't fret, it's just a few bandit. You said earlier that there was nothing amazing about astrologists. Well then, this is a good time to show you what your master can do. So now one is finally gonna take over- <laughs> Another test subject. <laughs> Let me scry. Yeah. Boom! Time to use energy. Did, this. did that satisfy your expectations? Mm -hmm. uh, such things are elementary for an astrologist. Lies are worthless before astrology. Destiny and truth are written in the stars. It's one thing to prove your combat ability, but it's another to prove what it is actually written in the stars. Though it may take more time to garner the specifics, I can read the gist of a situation at a glance. But you did hit some bumps in the road! That's because Tivat's stars can only display the fates and truths of this world. Anything related to you becomes like a fog that even I cannot penetrate. Mm. That is why I must meet that successor. With our knowledge combined, I might be able to gain new ins- <laughs> Whatever the case, you've got everything to gain from this trip. All right, I'm rested. Let's get this journey to Mondstadt over with. <sighs> if only we had a cart. Yeah, well, that was a lie the whole entire time. Uh, I thought you weren't tired. Okay. 
Are you ready? Don't shame your master now. I, I can't We're about to meet fortunes. that success, I guess. Wait, no. It won't do if you have no idea at all, even if you are a fake disciple. Right. We have a rule that forbids us from teaching outsiders. My astrology is based on hydromancy, and as the name suggests, I use the reflections in water bodies to observe the true starry sky. Was there any water body in the area we were just in? Allow me to demonstrate. From the present station and movement of the stars, I see. So that successor is a young female. Doesn't that sound like Lisa? We will meet her here presently. Well, that's all the information we need. Hmm? It seems that even basic astrology can't be grasped in one go. Never mind, I'll explain in detail later. She's here. Wow, it's you, Miss Honorary Knight. Oh, and God. I'm on, too. You're back. It's Lil Red Riding Grenader again. That's her. The successor to great knowledge. Clee. Successor? Why? Why? It's Arsene That's girl. right. I am the astrologist who has plumbed the depths of the ocean of stars. Surely you have long calculated my arrival as well. You expect Klee to be on the same level as you? An ocean of stars? What's that? Does it have fish in it? You and you have... Fish? <laughs> no, don't play dumb. Is this some kind of game? Really? You're the one who brought astrology here. You explain this. I should be the one saying that. I didn't get what you said at all. Uh, we're getting but my past. predictions can't be mistaken. Well, let's make sure. Your mother's name is Alice, isn't it? That's right. Oh, so you're Mommy's friend. But she's gone very far away. Oh, wait, it was Alice. Ugh, my readings told me as much. But before she left, she must have imparted her mystical arts to you, sure. I'm pretty sure she got into a bunch of other arts, such as Splody McBang Bang study of Bang Bang. Mystical arts? I don't get it. Mommy only taught me to make jumpy dumpties. Jumpy dumpies. When intellect meets stupidity. So Glee's mother is the friend and rival of Mona's teacher? Yes. As well versed in astrology as she was, my master knew only astrology. Alice, on the other hand, was skilled in a great many other mystical fields. Don't be jumpy, Scott. Well, Klee's so young. So even if she'd heard this deep knowledge, she might- Yes. It seems she has inherited the blood, but not the knowledge. What a miscalculation. Ah, uh, yes. So before Alice left, did she tell you about a 50-year agreement and about a certain box? Oh, I know this one. So you're here for that box. I'll look. Wait here. Is it going to be a grenade? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, I remember now. I buried it together with my new treasure at Windrise. It's a bomb, isn't it? Wait for me. I'll be right back. She's not gonna be right back. We have to go get her. Clee, don't just run off! Don't you need the things in your pack? I'll help her pack these things back in. You go after her. <sighs> Looking at how rash she is, I worry for the bog. Really? We should be more worried about her stupidity. <laughs> Clee? Where's your bomb? This is it. Let's dig it up! Does it be the work of gender slimes? It can't be. I put a sign here. Really? Just ah, like before? Tentro slimes! Yep. <sighs> we can talk later! Okay, so kill them. Oh, there's this, this one's HP. Nice and spicy! Right now, emerge! Go! Thank you. Very much. Found it! It's this box! Oh god. <sighs> Glad it wasn't damaged in the explosions. Explosions. And just like Mona, I have more questions for Klee in this case, but there's like, should I ask? With Mona, it's like, I want to ask, but I feel like I'm not going to get an answer. But with Klee, it's like, I 
could ask, but I feel like I'm not going to like the answer. Retrieval complete. Let's bring it back. Is it a grenade? It's a grenade. You got this. We're playing more with Claymore. You're back at last. The wait was exceedingly dull. I had intended to read a book to pass the time, but this one was just some ridiculous diary. Nothing of note in it at all. What do you expect with Klee? It dropped from Klee's backpack, so I thought it might contain some ancient knowledge, but... Is it about her making another bomb? Or maybe a nuke? Never mind, Matt. So, did you find the box? We did! It's in perfect shape! That's wonderful! Wait a moment. Why isn't it locked? And why is it empty? Mmm, now <laughs> she's levitating the book. Hey? Well, it's because I borrowed this box to store my treasures. Borrowed? But since you're here for the box, I took all my treasures out. That's why it's empty. You used it to store your things? Then where are the original contents of the box? That's what I want. Oh, you want the thing that used to be in the box? You should have said so. God, when intelligence meets stupidity. You haven't broken it. Have you? No, it's not broken at all. Oh, it's the book in your hand. Really? What? Th this. So this book, this diary, is that hag's... It's her diary from 50 years ago? Why should you be surprised? You're like, oh, this, this book is stupid. Oh, wait, this book is exactly what I need. Now what? The thing she wanted back after 50 years was the dark history of her youth? Uh... Oh, I'm finished. No wonder... No wonder that old woman said I should not look at it no matter what or she'd rip me to shreds. Um, am I in trouble? I mean, the book is flying, so... Huh, it was you who said you wanted the box. You didn't say anything about the thing inside. I don't know anything. I'm leaving. Okay. Bye. Um, well, if and you don't say left. anything, your master won't find out, will she? Impossible. Astrology can see through all lies. You've seen it yourself. Yeah, well, regardless of how effective astrology may be, sometimes something can be presented as a truth, even when it's a lie. Or maybe something is presented as stupid, but we expect it to be smart. Maybe your expectations are at fault here. <sighs> After having spent all my mora to come to Mondstadt, not only have I gained no knowledge, but now I can't return. How did it come to this? Uh, because you expected to get something out of it and did not uh, expect that things might go wrong. That's so sad. Maybe you could forget everything in that book and then go back. That's uh, too difficult. Too embarrassing. Yes. How can I maintain a proper astrologist's mentality if I stay with all these Philistines? Philistines? Like a nationality? I didn't know, unless uh, the word Philistine is used differently, I don't know. Well, then you'll just have to go back and face your master. S stop master talking about up. it. I, I guess I'll have to. I'll just have to stay in Mondstadt temporarily. Once that old crone's reached the end of her days, I'll be free. Does that really count as temporary? But what will I do about my astrology research? No, wait, I don't even have a place to stay. About that, we can go ask Catherine at the Adventurer's Guild. The Adventurer's Guild? Ah, right. You can do commissions for them in exchange for... Oh, um, thanks. I... Never mind, it's nothing. Okay. We're finally reaching the end. Speak to Catherine and help him out about a place to stay. Alright. Time to have Ad Astra meet Mona at Dastra. Ad Astra at. I see. I understand the situation. I just mentioned it to you once. You're like, I understand everything. There is a magic laboratory in Mondstadt that has been sealed by some unknown person. You call it an unknown person? You really don't know? Although we have a few specialists who could break the seal. They all have their own labs and aren't that interested in the matter. I believe that if the astrologist you mentioned can break the seal, the owner of that house wouldn't mind if she stayed all right. Then allow me to tell you where the house is. Is there on the left side? 
Yeah, I saw this seal over here. Then I go check the seal. The person who placed this seal is by no means simple. Breaking this seal by force is nigh on impossible. You're a hydro character. That's a hydro symbol. It looks like an astrology symbol because of the the extra shape around the hydro symbol. Interesting. I suppose it's worth using my astrology on. Do it. Let me see. Mm, I see. So if you first. Wow! It's impossible, and yet I still do it. All right, it's open. Right, how easily that changed. Holy moly, that's amazing! Right. <laughs> now we just need to go back to Catherine and you'll be able to stay here! No need, no need. You have my utmost thanks. You are? Oh, I'm Goth, the owner of this house. I passed by the Adventurer's Guild a while back and Catherine told me about the matter. A while back? I never thought this troublesome seal would be dispelled so quickly. Does that mean I can stay here? <laughs> of course, of course. The facilities inside were just being left there anyway. I would be glad to have someone make use of them. To express my thanks, I shall rent this building to you at the lowest possible price. R rent? I didn't hear anything about rent, and I helped out, too. Just take it. Uh, oh, well, yes, of course, I understand. I... I'm I might think Mona's misunderstood this something, might be your best but... I guess I don't have any other choice. I'll rent this place. Just do it. Just take the place, for the love of God. Great! Then we are agreed. I will go prepare the documentation. Please. Thanks for your help. Also, well... I'm very sorry, but I won't be able to do what I agreed to help you with just yet. Once you're out of everybody's hair, that's fine. Without the necessary tools and without new knowledge, it will take me some time to see your destiny <laughs> clearly. But I promise that I'll do a reading for you first thing once I'm ready. Dream is all game. Guess you gotta keep working on it. Yes. I don't really know what to do, but I'll do my best. Okay. I wish you both safe travels. As for me. I need to think of the future as well. Okay. Are we dead? How is she gonna make a living if she doesn't use astrology to make money? Am I gonna have to foot mm. the bill? Maybe we should come back and check on her once in a while. It would really be bad if she fainted from hunger in there. Something tells me I have to do another story quest with her. The den? Beyond this world, stars. Done. Okay. Cut that racket out! I'm doing ex- Oh, it's you! Don't worry about me fainting from hunger. In any case, I feel- Okay. Says the person who's like, Don't worry about me falling apart. I can do it. Good. Anyways. Okay, Palpatine. <laughs> well, at least you got that one.